yeah, Long Beach is actually like only four days from here. <laughs> I just had a testing first time. I was like trying to like more take easy because I thought we don't have time to get like 100% ready. But after today, I think uh, with one more testing, I think we can do, we can still fight for the podium. I don't like Long Beach. I, I like not to think about it. I just like to sit in the car and just go. The more I think about Long Beach, the more I dislike it. And it's so cool, Long Beach. It's like street course and, you know, you're really close to the fans and you're really close to the city and everything is cool about it. But the, like, first event out the blocks, it's too unforgiving. Last year going into it, I came out like swinging in at Media Day. I think it was the first time we've ever ran Media Day and I was just like scraping walls and just running like nuts. And then we got to when it counted and I just was driving way too hard. Totally like biffed it. So I'm from Japan and in Japan you get driver's license at 18 years old. And uh, before that I, I was riding a motorcycle when I was 17 years old and I was into it and then I was riding through the canyons. And one day at night, I saw the car getting sideways when I was riding a motorcycle. And then since that day, I was like, this is really dope, I wanna do it. Actually, before even I got licensed, I got a 86 for 200 bucks from my, my friend, like older friend. Uh, back then it was really cheap because the initial D wasn't it just like started, so it wasn't really popular yet. And back then drifting wasn't really popular or it wasn't really started in the States. It's like back in 2003. Um, and the guy was really cool enough to hire me to compete one of the, the competition in the States. And uh, I just compete and I did really well. And that's how I got into competition drifting in, in the States back in 2003. After a few, a few races, um, I picked up some sponsors and uh, I drove in for Pacific Rim for four or five years. And after a couple other team uh, dri start driving for Falcon, Team Falcon Tire since 2009. <laughs> My brother got a hold of some uh, JDM option DVDs uh, off of eBay actually many moons ago and these guys were sliding these cars around like it was so cool so it was like okay mine is outside the window I might as well give that a shot it didn't work out so good but as I uh, modified the car and stuff it became easier and easier. And I just, I, I guess I've had a lot of fortune. I, I got in at the right time uh, back home. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty fairy tale story, my one. Um, did some D1 Japan events that when they came to the UK. Did pretty well. They invited me to go to Arundel in 06. And uh, yeah, we did quite well again. Uh, I think we were the highest non Japanese driver both days. And um, since my car was shipped one way, um, it was here, so we could put a deal together. And uh, yeah, 2007, I uh, got the Rookie of the Year. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Look at these guys. They initiate side by side like fighter jets. It is a dog fight. Who's gonna reign supreme? Here we go, transitioning. Nice on the clip is Darren McAmey. Whoa, Darren! I'm in such a good place right now with this 14, with uh, SPD, like I wouldn't change a thing. My first exposure to drifting was, um, there was like a drift show off or something like that in Irwindale parking lot in I think 2003 or something. But I was living in Arizona. We heard about this thing that was gonna happen about these cars and doing this stuff that we were watching on YouTube. And um, we're like, we're gonna go out and like see what's going on. And we came out here and Drifter X was like ripping off his exhaust. Reese Millen was like, lighting all four tires like off in his some like Mitsubishi rally car. There was, I don't know, probably another like 10 to 20, you know, pretty sweet looking cars. And um, I saw what they were doing and I was like, man, I, I, I just had this like feeling inside of me like, I, like 
give me a car, I wanna go do that. I bought an ARC 7, you know, I did the whole turbo two swap and drivetrain swap, got like some tank coilovers and started building it up in my garage and started competing at Just Drift and, and back in the day when Drift Day was still around and just started having fun with it. I mean, I remember going to competitions where uh, Taka and Hero uh, were judging and like they would give me like pointers and I think they saw some, you know, uh, potential in me and, and they just kept on giving me pointers and they both at that time drove for Falcon. Um, so I think that was my first exposure to Falcon. But I just kept on like shooting for this dream of like driving for a living, you know, driving as a profession. Like I kind of gave myself like a five year plan. If I'm not like picked up and sponsored and doing this like full time in five years, like I have to like figure something out in my life. You know, we made that decision and committed to it. And then next thing I know, I get a phone call from Jay Brad and he's uh, asking me to come in for an interview in this building. And I remember it was uh, definitely a life changing experience. The biggest hurdle of this year will be the new car. Um, but after today's testing, I felt pretty good and I just felt the potential. Um, so if we can figure it out quick enough, then we should be in a good position to, to fight for the championship. We've tried to put everything in the right place for the for the season this year. I think this is going to be our biggest shot. And uh, yeah, as I said, the 14 is feeling great. Got a great team behind me. There's no excuses anymore. So it's just, I mean, it's an obvious answer, but it is the one we, we have to do it. We just have to. It, it's a massive monkey on my back. You know, I, I can't really relax or feel like I've accomplished anything until it happens, you know. And it doesn't happen to that many people, but, you know, we've been so close. I'm sure Justin would say the same thing. I don't have any of that stress this year. Cars seems way better. We've dropped a lot of weight. I've dropped a little bit of weight. It's got more angle. Um, and I don't know, I just feel like it's going to be a good year. A lot less pressure and the team's really solid and like everybody like gets along really well. And I don't know, we just have nothing to lose. I think that's sometimes when you do your best. So uh, I went up against Chris Forsberg. Uh, you know, he's always really a uh, competitive guy since day one, and I've been competing with him since 10 years ago. Uh, you know, sometimes I lose, sometimes I win. In last year, uh, he beat me two times in, in a row. So <laughs> I really wanted to beat him this time. But he's, uh, you know, he's just driving really well. Like, you know, he, he's always good, but especially this event, he seems really, he seems doing really well. Um, and, you know, I was just getting comfortable with the new car. So, you know, I was able to push harder than ever. Uh, so I think I put one of my best runs, both lead run and follow run. But uh, it, it just wasn't enough to beat him. I, I really wanted to push harder in Long Beach. Like I said, you know, starting off the season with the podium is really good. It's always good. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I didn't push. Of course, I push as much as I can. But uh, you know, the situation was the brand new car, and you know, I wasn't really used to the car and still you know there's a lot of uh, thing that we don't know about the car this top 32 knocked out not gonna affect me that much at least that's what i'm believing right now so i guess there is a bit of a rivalry there you know i feel that a bit more with with jr it's my old team I guess you do get some rivalries going on. I knew the car was good, their car was always good. If we can outrun them, make no mistakes, then uh, everyone was really happy with that. So it's a, it's a good thing to do, and let's do more of it. Great job this weekend, Darren. Hey guys, that was uh, 
Yeah, it was pretty even, I thought. And uh, a thousand one piece. Thank you very much, guys. Great, uh, great weekend. And uh, let's go growing up in Atlanta. You know, we've made a lot of progress at the car and the setup is really good now and it's ready for this extra power boost we're going to give it, so I'm actually excited about it. Um, you know, going against Odie, I knew that he's a solid driver, um, very consistent, and again, I led because I was a higher qualifier, and I just, again, just lay down a solid lead run. All right, um, he's uh, really shallow on his zone, one. Um, he carries it a little late, similar to Turk. Um, you definitely have an advantage here. I got, uh, you know, um, feedback from Sergio that I had, it seemed like I had advantage. Actually, I, I was a little surprised off the start because his car is extremely fast in, in a straight line. And he gapped me on the, on the takeoff. Like, as soon as the light dropped, he was just gone. So I did everything that I could to like, not to run a super shallow line, but to stay on his line and try to like chase him down. And, and we finally reeled him in. Um, you know, the judges found that we had a better uh, set of two runs and we, we, we again moved on. I felt really good about it. I felt like I had a really solid follow run. I was on his line. Um, I could have probably tightened it up a little bit, but I felt like I had a solid follow run and I was excited about it. And then, um, you know, they, the judges deliberated for quite a while and, you know, they ended up pointing at, at him and you know, I, was, I, was, I was a little disappointed, but uh, I don't think I was mad, you know, again, I came into this, the event, you know, with a, a lot less, like, big expectations for myself. I mean, I wanted to have fun. Obviously, you want to go every round and win. But um, I'm really confident in my team and the car that they've given me this year. And I know that you can't, it's pretty much impossible to win every single round. Um, but, you know, walking away with the, that fourth place finish, it, I feel great about it. And I, I'm definitely ready for Atlanta.